Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is the next part in my Dishonored 2 playthrough. Um, we are in the Dust District as you can see. Um, our task is to get through the uh, Stindosh li uh, lock to the mansion. I can't remember whose mansion it is and I don't really care who it is because get that mansion can suck it. But um, yeah, we are tasked to find Negan Foster first and then we've got to side with either the Overseers or the Howlers and for this I will be her, um, siding with the Overseers um, so yeah let's get this started and uh, take you back to the dreadful yeah, no one cares. You finish. right yeah. but I don't really like Sokolov I like his voice it annoys me. Orders from the Duke. We're losing too many people. Good soldiers blinded by the pollution of Jenny Cloud. I'm stuck out here. Uh, it's time to clean the silver dust out of my ears. Tom Watson. Fred. Grand Palace. That's in sight. All apples and slippers. Dust from the mines. That's quickly. No, I'm fine. And the howlers can't. Paolo has a price on Burns' head. I've been doing reconnaissance, talking to people. The overseers and the howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the howlers and the overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers. But I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. So yeah, the lock is in there, but we can't do anything with that yet. I'm told that people are complaining about dust from the mines falling on the city. Yes, war is expensive. You may not be aware that our silver mines are operating past full capacity in order to fund our conflict against the Northern Isle. That's not us.
on here. I have no idea what that was. No, I'm good. We're good. We're good. The vice overseer hasn't shared his plans with me. He's upstairs now, so I assume what? we'll what? learn Somebody's something down. before long. I'd wager it'll all be over soon. I'm surprised it's taken us this long to deal with. Hang on a minute. Something feels off. Why has it gone into combat? That's... The mob of ruffians. You know what the strictures say about oh. wagering, brother. The howlers are merciless, and Paolo carries the outsider's blessing. Some talisman come straight from the jaws of the void itself. That was strange. I don't know why that came up. Because I haven't been spotted, so... Quickest way to get through that. So this stalemate with the Howlers must be resolved. If we eliminate Paolo, there's no end to the influence we'll exert over Karnakla, over all of Zirkonos. Dozen overseers have died trying to bring Paolo down. We've struck him fatal injuries, and somehow he comes back the next day to fight again. Whatever witchcraft he has, even the ancient music is ineffective. I believe Paolo is in possession of some unclean artifact. It's my fear that he has to be killed twice in one day. And the Duke won't help? The Duke is no friend of ours. <laughs> he exiled me from the Grand Palace and he's done everything possible to push the Abbey of every man out of Circonos. The look on his face when he dismissed me from court. There's something wrong with people who live in palaces for too long. And now you owe me, Paolo. 
We've been at war with the Abbey, not just over territory, but over the people of Karnaka as well. This is my home. And I'm going to send Burn to Dunwall without his hands to explain things to the High Overseer and the Empress herself. Bet you didn't see this coming, Vice Overseer. No. What is it you want? I need to get inside Aramis Stilton's house. You're intriguing. And maybe more dangerous than most who darken my doorway. I advise you to remember it. Here's what you'll need to enter the house. If you do have a hand in what comes next in Karnaka, I really hope you acquit yourself better than the Duke has. You can count on that, friend. The Duke's a worthless buffoon. Get this guy out of here. So yeah. So that is the solution. Oh. And it was... I believe it was a diamond. Yeah, that's a diamond. So Rinslow is a ring. And then it's Marcola, which is a medal. Okay. And then it's Finch, which is the the bird. And then it's Conte. There we go. It worked. The information was correct. So let's go to Stilton's Manor. The worst mission in the game. And I'm going to stand by that. It is the worst mission in the game. That's that one done. We'll get there and then I'll end the video there. Nice short, shortish video. Didn't take too long. Um, it's one of my favourite missions because you can sort of, you know, you can do it a different way where you make a save at the door, do the mission, and then get the code, right, obviously, write it somewhere or put it on the phone or something, and then go back to that previous save and use that code because it will be the same code so um it's uh it's interesting so it doesn't change so it's the code like it there's obviously multiple codes in the entire game and they change every time so that that gate code that i had for the to go to the clockwork mansion that's different every time i, I know that for a fact Time is an odd thing. Growing up, I was excited about what the years might hold. About the places I'd visit. I recall childhood moments with my mother on her throne, and my father a figure of mystery. I remember the rat plague, mother's passing, and all that happened at the Hound Pits pub. Now this. 
I just want to put an end to Delilah's reign and get my father back. This house holds her secrets. Delilah pulled herself up from tragedy, grabbing the Empire and changing it to her liking. With Duke Luca Abel, she transformed a coddled dilettante into a schemer who helped her take my throne. She's made herself immortal, and even my father's sword couldn't end her life. I'm going to undo all she's done. And next time, I'll hold on to the things I cherish. <sighs> Just a bit tighter. Alrighty then, so that That's is strange. I feel drained by this place. Yeah, you don't have any powers because you're a clown. Um, yeah, so the uh, mission seven, crack in the slab, is the worst mission in the game, so you get get to look forward to me uh, try it out. So yeah, uh, I will see you next time. <laughs>